you are on the fence about getting locks, if you're asking people, you know, should I do this? Should I not do this? This is gonna push you over the edge and get you to go ahead and get your locks. Stay tuned for the number one reason why you should get starter locks. Welcome to my channel if you're new here and welcome back if you're returning make sure you subscribe if you haven't already i'm giving y'all time to do it right now because i'm manifesting it through the screen so i know you're hitting the button and i'm thanking you in advance <laughs> okay y'all so let's get right into this video today we're talking about the number one reason why you should go ahead and get your hair locked if i was doing these calculations before i locked my hair i would have done it a lot sooner it's all about savings Locks are gonna save you some money. Depending on how you're currently maintaining your hair and what you're currently doing to your hair, locks can definitely change how much you're putting in your savings and how much extra money you have to spend every month. So in order to go ahead and show y'all how much you could be saving, I'm gonna be using my personal routines that I used to have before locking my hair so y'all can see the comparisons between those styles and current styles with me having locks. Before getting my hair locked, I went through a few different phases when it came to styles for my hair. So in 2018, 2019, I was wearing my hair in frontal installs. That was pretty much my go-to style. And in order to have a frontal install, you have to first buy the bundles and the frontal, and then you have to pay to get the install. Um, some stylists go ahead and provide you with hair, but my stylist did not, so I had to buy my bundles on my own. I used to spend about 500 I added it up y'all and it's sickening it's actually sickening it's on my screen right now I'm sick but I used to spend $592 on three bundles an 18 inch a 20 inch and a 22 inch body wave and I used to get a 20 inch frontal and that cost me $592 I used to shop at minkbrazilian.com they have the best hair but it's gonna cost you a pretty penny the good thing about investing in nice bundles is that they last for quite a while but it's just too much money okay it's not that serious um so total i used to spend 592 dollars for my bundles and i used to spend 350 dollars for my install that comes out to 942 dollars to have my hair in a lace frontal install okay and honestly i was not looking that good it was okay it wasn't nothing too special but i thought i was actually doing something at the time sadly if i were spending that per year i'd say i get my hair done like five times a year like that because it was just too expensive to like have it consistently done and in between i just do stuff with my natural hair that really wouldn't cost me anything so in a year i would say 942 dollars times five is how much i would spend on this style and that comes out to four thousand seven hundred and ten dollars per year when i was working minimum wage and didn't have any money <laughs> clearly something is wrong with me um priorities were not straight but yeah i was spending four thousand seven hundred and ten dollars on this style moving on i finally got a little bit of sense into me and i started wearing wigs like 2020 i was wearing wigs that was probably the only year that i did that and i was spending about 550 dollars per wig i was going to um i think her name is wigs off may or high off may on instagram i really like supporting her she's young she makes awesome wigs and the hair is included and they last for a long time i still have my wigs and throw them over my locks sometimes so it's a great investment honestly but I used to spend $550 per wig and I'd say I'd go ahead and have three wigs per year and they that would last me. In between wigs, I just, again, wear my natural hair, do something that didn't cost me a lot of money. So if I had my hair in wigs for a year, it would be a total of $1,650. I would spend $1,650 on having wigs for the entire year which is honestly not that bad, especially if you're looking at the 4,000 number. So we can see that I was doing better. I was doing a little bit better, you know? And then in 2021, when the pandemic hit, or is it 2020? Y'all know when the pandemic hit. I don't know, it's been whiplash. What have the past few years been really during the panty? I don't know. But once the pandemic hit, and a little bit before that, I was wearing braids. Honestly pushed me towards my lock journey because it was like kind of similar. And I used to spend 180 on my braids 
and then I would spend a hundred dollars for my maintenance every like two ish months. So total, I would spend two hundred and eighty dollars having my hair in knotless braids, and I would get that done. I'm gonna say like four times a year. So two hundred and eighty dollars times four times a year is eleven twenty. And again, y'all can see me. I was doing better. Okay, I went from four thousand seven hundred and ten sixteen fifty to eleven twenty pre locks. Okay, now after getting my hair locked, I say I spend about ninety dollars per retwist on average. It's eighty dollars if I don't get a style and it's a hundred dollars if I do get a style and most of the time I don't get a style but I'm gonna just say ninety dollars just to have a good estimate and I'd say I get my hair done like I'm gonna say ten ish times per year I don't get it done every month I get them done every six weeks so I'm gonna just say ninety dollars times ten which is of course nine hundred dollars per year and that's again on the higher side because I only get my hair done every six weeks so let's go ahead and compare right so when I have my hair and lace closer installs compared to now, I am saving $3,810 per year. And I've had my hair locked for two years almost. So times two, I've saved $7,620 since I had my hair locked. Wow. Y'all get the picture, I think, right? So I used to, sp I would save $7,620 um, from when I used to have my hair in lace closure installs to now when I have my hair locked. And that is a lot of money. I can, I'm gonna do the other calculations and I'm gonna just put them on the screen so y'all can see how much money I've been saving. But honestly, locking my hair was the best financial decision I think I've ever made. I used to spend a ridiculous, a horrendous amount on my hair, which I know like that was really on me. I don't know how much y'all spend on y'all hair, but I feel like that's really excessive and I didn't need to be spending that much money. But I was just into like high quality and stuff that lasted a long time. So even though I spent a bunch of money like on my bundles and a bunch of money on my wigs, they did last me. I still have my wigs and things like that, which is great. They still of use to me, but that was just way too much money. Again, if you're on the fence about getting your hair locked and if you're in a situation where you're spending a lot of money on your hair, it's a lot of money to maintain it, or you're a natural girl and you spend a lot on products, I know a big misconception is that girls with natural hair don't spend a lot of money on their hair, but they do. My little sister is natural and I see all the products she be buying and they be expensive. So even if you're natural, you'd probably save a lot of money having your hair locked as well just because you don't have to keep constantly buying all those products products and keep re-upping on you know the tools that you need to do your hair so i hope this video was helpful for y'all if you have some comparisons of your own please drop them in the comments this blew my mind doing these calculations and i honestly feel like i deserve a reward for saving all this money so i won't be doing that but i am glad that i made the decision to lock my hair and save money and just get smarter because what was i doing along with locking my hair i'm making a lot of different financial decisions so i'm grateful and if y'all want to hear about how to be a baddie on a budget and i wear that proudly i'm a baddie on a budget now okay if y'all want to hear more about you know tips like that financial tips drop it down below if you are saving money or if you save money locking your hair let me know and if you're currently you know having wigs and weaves or just styling your hair in a different way tell me how much you pay for your hair because i i don't know what was wrong with me i need to know if something was wrong with me if i was crazy for spending that amount of money or if like it's just what people do and of course make sure you're subscribed if you're not subscribed then what are you doing what are you doing subscribe to my channel okay <laughs> all right bye y'all